much harder to execute for Fox than it is for Bowser. Yeah, because you have to hand or more accurate hits and better decision making, uh, just overall. And a lot of times in matchups where like the characters like crouch cancel you a lot, you're just like, okay, drill instead of nair. That doesn't work against Bowser though, because it's crouch cancel isn't just crouch cancel; it's armor. Oh, but the down throw tech chase. And this is oh, and the up he directly out of it gets like four re grabs and one up he is gonna even it up. And that's the answer you're really needing to look for. If you don't want Bowser to hit you, put him in a position where he, on paper, just can't hit you, which is tech chasing. For sure. And it works out pretty well. 111, especially with catching him with small aerials and shines. Uh, and then he might be dead now. Yeah, there, he is dead. Up throw train. Grab. It doesn't matter what percent you're at. <laughs> Bowser can just kill Fox basically at any time. Even again. Fox wins neutral pretty hard, but it's. Man, it's just hard to execute in this one. Nice dash dance, just trying to call out an option for American Bowser. Ooh. Way dash back. Tried to get a shine, probably, but. Poor execution. <laughs> American Bowser showing that he can dash dance as well. Oh, yes. Bowser and his big, meaty dash dance. Runs straight into the fire, yeah. Arsenal should know that Jake likes to land with that a lot. Roll away. Going to immediate shine. I, it's just more accurate decision making. You have to make perfect decisions in a majority of scenarios. And in Super Smash Bros, you're faced with so many scenarios per second. For sure. Oh, sneaks under with that side B. That was cute. Just showing how smart Arsenal is as a player. Try to go for an up, uh, up direct combo with that up through the. Jake was like, no, I'm going to use my big meaty nair. <laughs> oh, he, he's not getting the angle that he wanted. I like it playing patient. I mean, like... honestly, you have to. Like, strict aggression onto Bowser, one small mistake and attack is going oh, yeah. to get you killed. Don't get into a scramble situation with Bowser. He's going to take those trades all day. And American Bowser probably going to think twice before shielding on the next encounter. Because perhaps getting pretty small there. My Definitely friend. could have upbeat some of that drills, some of those drills, but wanted something, maybe a bigger punish, but takes a risk and it doesn't work out. Oh. I'm not sure if Jake could act out of that. I not actually I don't actually know. The special the cross up right there was really good and definitely didn't allow it, but Jake waits and gets the down smash. Oh and he, he's oh still going God. to get that edge guard with the that up. Was Look crazy. At Jake's face. He's like, Jake's I like I man, I don't know. <laughs> we take those? Well, I guess I'll let it happen. Yeah. But one of one of my personal favorite conversions with Bowser is, and we saw him try to go for it, is with Fire Breath, it's going to knock you up and he can immediately uh, short hop into Koopa Claw into the immediately spike. It's very true. And he's thinking about going to Captain Kalkin. Where is Jake going to take him? Uh, Fountain? Okay, never mind. Uh, ooh. I would go Green Hill. Green Hill or Wario's? Green Hill or Wario. I think Wario gives Fox more options with the platform movement. I think Green Hill, there's literally nowhere. There, you can't escape from Bowser there. He's big. That stage is small. Only one platform and it doesn't come into play that much. I think I would try to go for Wario just so you have a consistent platforms compared to what happened on Smashville and Green Hill. Uh, where you have the rotating platform just going back and Maybe. Forth. I do think just the platform, if anything, are going to hinder him more than help him. Just so we can get the chain grabs. So yeah, just so we can get the chain grabs. Fox has less escape options on this stage, too. Um, and it's also small, like Green Hill. Yeah. I mean, like Wario Land. That jab, really scary. <laughs> we got the best song of all time playing right now. Everybody loves City Escape. Ooh, direct shine into that up smash. I'm just gonna roll away. Call out the small positioning with the dash attack. 
Can they go? Okay, that is gonna go high to the platform. Ooh, and nice air dodge to go immediately up, dodge whatever incoming option there was. It looked like forward salt at the time, and then just fall straight down. Yeah, reads the roll in, it looks like. Oh my god. That would have been the end of Fox's stock so quickly. And Bowser, a very intimid intimidating character. Oh, and the fire. And we said this earlier against, what was it, Lynn? Yeah. Or Lynn and American Bowser? Yeah. Uh, American Bowser's edge guarding are, is pretty good. A lot of his options uh, with armor, so you can just eat up a lot of hits. And arguably, I think, one of the best edge guarding in the game. But that was disgusting edge guarding. Jake, in particular, has really, really good edge guarding. And he's just gonna eat up the fire incoming firebox. <laughs> Jake's loving it. Uh -huh. And the roll behind. We said it. I said it earlier. It, he's gonna eat up the hit with his edge guarding, like forward smash, back air, or nair, and then just immediately take the hit. Or get up attack. But get up attack is another really good option the Bowser mm -hmm. has when it comes to. Get up attack is probably the best alleged get up attack in the game. That's gonna kill up off throw the top. up air. Yeah, that's the NTSC Fox up smash on an upward aerial. Oh my god. And we have the wolf. This is Arsenal's e Bowser counter pick. His uh, PR skin. Mm -hmm. The edgy spacey. <laughs> edgy pirate spacey. The role sure. playing wolf from outer space. Mm -hmm. RPW. Role playing wolf. Ooh. Ah. Uh Rewatching that forward smash. I don't know where we're gonna go. Not FD. Not Green Hill. Are they gentlemaning to high rolls? <laughs> oh. Two, we're not going one, here. Go. Okay. Um. If anything, I would go to a Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield. I don't know how I feel about this. This could go poorly. Bowser really likes, I know Bowser Man really likes Battlefield, but oh, the double shines. Not a really a double shine, but shine and then shine. But I mean, if we're talking about does come true, I mean, these platforms probably going to help him out a majority of the time compared to without any. Yeah, that's, that's definitely true. But Jake's very good at trapping you on those platforms and he can cover so much space. Ooh. One of the big Go things that out. I think is really just going to hinder Arsenal's uh, with this wolf pick would be wolf shine in general. Uh, you can crouch cancel the first shine that wolf has, and I mean, yeah, he Bowser does get do the added bonus of cancel. being able to tick like combo more with like the nares and dares, mm -hmm. and he has more consistent kills with like the side B setups. And once he gets Bowser off the ground, the shine is just as good. And I can definitely see why Arsenal really hates Bowser. <laughs> He's uh, not having the best time right now. Yeah. Ooh, that small mess up on the down air. Not really going to give him the conversion or the hitbox off of the platform that he wanted. Uh, okay. The fire catches him running in. And immediately into another power shield into regress. Oh. Ooh. The Shine Wave Dash Side B, a classic wolf moment. I'd really like to see more of those from Arsenal's coming out. <laughs> Bow wow. Yeah, it just oh, waits for the second place. Oh, uh, poor tilt. Didn't catch the jump, though. Very smart from Arsenal's, just not to immediately, I don't know, panic jump. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. We're going to call him out, and Jake got lost again. This is Jake is a confused boy. Definitely something Arsenal's needs. <laughs> With the uh, power shield and the laser, yeah. Jake's gonna power shield that almost every time. That's super upsetting just immediately hearing the dink from the yeah. uh, It's uh, not a blaster. pleasant sound. Another small mistake in the combo just going to cost him. Ramen noodled. <laughs> the DJ Nintendo. Uh, not okay. sure if I really agree with 
the uh, the off platform. But yeah, it was interesting, and Arsenal's was ready with the dash deck, which I like. Okay, lays the wrong way, but uses the waveland to get into a better position. Still a scary position, nonetheless. Oh yeah. I nice. think he jumped late and was probably gonna be able to side B from that position, but missed execution. And just the perfect height from Arsenal to recover. Invincible laser waveland, but he misses the invincibility on it. It was just a laser weight lead dash. Arsenal's getting that Marth Ritus Olive Garden waiter. Here's oh. your dish. Oh, let him know. <laughs> All right, I don't, Arsenal's can't make a mistake here. Oh, he made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> we live. Yeah, he lost. I mean, he did pause. Game. Or he did lose. He did loss. I'm so he sorry. He did make a loss. He did make a loss. Okay. We're about to leave, right. though. Keep watching, though. Goodbye forever. It's been fun.